All right, today we're gonna bring a 4K camera for your car. Now, I'm gonna share a personal story with you guys. Not long ago, um, my daughter got into a car accident and she's a young driver, so everybody, witnesses, everybody was against her saying that it was her fault on the actual accident. But clearly, um, the camera tells a different story. It turns out that she did the right move, the right time, and it wasn't her her fault that caused the accident. It was the other individual that took the red. But if it wasn't for a camera in your car, it's very important to have as a, a third witness because when every witness goes against you, this will prevent you from getting your, your evidence you require. Now, we're going to go a little bit in depth in this. And I'm going to demonstrate you a couple of things. All right. On this one, they give you the manual, adhesive, the long cable. And I'm going to explain to you all this stuff and a 32 gig uh, memory included. I would suggest maybe get a larger one if you can, because um, they do tend to loop again and recycle. And, and this might last you for maybe a couple of days. But I would prefer keeping maybe a week or two as evidence in here. Um, they got the power, which is a type C to the actual lighter. All right, and there is a fuse in here, so you don't have to worry about any burnouts or anything like that. The camera itself, it's really petite. It has a forward view camera. It has a back view camera, and it has a, of course, display and information under. It has a forward camera and internal camera. So if you're an Uber driver and you or taxi, this is a great thing to have. But they even throw in an extra thing. So if you guys can see, this is a backup camera. This is a camera for the back. And there is night vision in there. And there is lights that turn on, LED lights. Now, that's why they give you this long, long cable. Because you are um, you could manage to set this up in back of your car by your license plate. Either backwards or forward. But you could, if you, in case you have to replace it reverse, you could actually reverse it back here and mirror it too. So great options to have. So... We're gonna put this together and see how it works. All right, so we're gonna set this up here. Uh, we're gonna try to find out what's the best way to put this on without disturbing the mirror, so. It's changing the view, it's recording the whole thing. We're gonna drive right now. And we might have to curve it just a little bit, but it's good enough. That's good enough, it's capturing the video I'm gonna tuck it in all around the whole system so it won't see it and I'm able to see the crashes in case anything happens and then my camera inside perfect Ninety nine point six of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.